to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 143, and I am trying to do it without my glasses on because I'm trying to work around the glare that shows up when I put my glasses on. Only problem is I can't see like two feet in front of me, so this could be an interesting podcast. Um, anyway, I have two finished objects this week. I made two pot holders. These are made from the sale I got from Consumer Crafts, and I showed that earlier this week. If you missed it, you can click the little letter I right up here, and that will take you to it. Um, watch the podcast first, but then you can click that and, and go over and see what I got. But one of the things I bought was six skeins of this yarn. It's a blue and green. That's, that's what it looks like on the back. Uh, this is a pattern that Yoka sent me. It's actually available on her blog. Um, it is from Made by Seam on YouTube. And she had made some, uh, Yoka had made some, and then she told me about it and linked the pattern for me to go over and see it. So I've made this before for me. I made three of them. But if you've been watching for a couple weeks, my daughter and son-in-law's house caught fire and they lost pretty much everything. And so they are, it is good news as far as they are now living in a rental house. Everybody's happy. Um, they're just getting settled in and they're waiting for the house to be rebuilt. But she wants to redo her kitchen and paint it, paint the walls green in it or blue. She's not sure which, so that's why I got this. So it'll go with either. And so I have two of those. And I used almost, I held, I held the skeins double, so I used, uh, let me think, two, two, three. I used one and a half, no, let me think. I used about three skeins total to make this uh, because I was holding them double. The first, the first one that I made took... Um, almost, I'd say three quarters of a skein of each. So like I said, I was holding two together and I used three quarters of each of those skeins. And then the second one, I used the, the rest of those two skeins that were left and partial into the next one, the next two. So I still have plenty left to make her dishcloths. So, um, yeah, so she's going to have two pot holders and a bunch of dishcloths for her new kitchen whenever they get it. So those are my two finished objects. Now let's go get on to, I think I'll start with crochet today. I've been having a little bit of fun with my blanket. I didn't get done as much as I would have liked to. Um, it's been an extremely busy week. It seems like I worked, I worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday night after church, we cleaned the church. Um, it was our turn to do that. So we didn't leave there till like 9.30 Wednesday night. And then Thursday and Friday, my husband and I volunteer at a missionary organization. We print the newsletters for the different missionaries and process them and get them sent out. And one of the missionaries has like 1,200 letters that go out. So we've been busy with that. And we're trying to, we have some new furniture ordered from our, for our living room. What we had in the living room was like 20 years old and it's starting to show us where. So we have new furniture coming, so we're trying to sell our old furniture and get it moved into at least into the garage because the new stuff's due on Monday. Anyway, it's been a little busy, but I've had several meetings this week, so I have gotten a little bit of work done. I have done since last week uh, one, two, three, four rows. So I have done, you can see this little stitch marker here. So I've done these four rows. I love the color I'm doing right now. It's blue, and here it is here. It's a pretty, I don't think that's one I dyed. It might be, I don't know. I'm not sure, I don't think so. I think that's one that came in a pack from eBay, but look at that, it's got all different types of colors. It has like navy and a real light blue, and then it has a medium blue and a denim blue. It's just pretty, I really like this. Um, so anyway, that is my Scrappy blanket. Here it is from top to bottom. And I'm probably between a third and a fourth of the way through it. 
I have four balls. Well, I have three left that are, this is about, this is all that's left of the first ball. I have three more and they're each about that big around. So I think I should have plenty of scrap yarn to be able to finish this. I mean, it's not going to be a huge, it's more like a lap, lap hand. It's not going to be an app hand type of thing. And it will be like the sort of matchy twin to my knitted scrappy blanket. So they are going to um, share the sofa at our, when we get the new sofa in. So that is my scrappy blanket that I've been working on. Next, I've been working on my design shawl. Well, I keep calling it a shawl, just out of habit. It's a wrap. And I didn't do as much on it this week as I had planned. However, I got it evened out. So here's the center, which you've seen. And then last week, I had one side done from here to here. And this week, I evened out the other side. So I knitted or I crocheted from here through here and this is the striping. And it's funny, the striping of the first two colors, which is right here, doesn't show up as much, but it definitely shows up more in this section because the colors are, you know, a wider difference. So let me roll back here so you can see it all so far. It is a little misshapen because there's in, there's decreases on the sides in order to pull it in, but I know that when I block this, those will work their way out. So here it is so far. So that was my progress on my designer wrap crochet. Now we'll move on to knitting, and I have made a lot of progress on my Swedish Lines shawl. I really thought I was going to finish it this week, but I didn't. Sorry, I had to untangle all the yarn. It was all wrapped around itself. Here's the stitch marker where I was last week, and I have knitted up through this section here, these stripes. I'm partially through the sixth stripe. There's one more gray stripe to go. So there's a total of seven of these gray stripes. And after that, gray stripe to go. And then there's a bunch of little gray and white stripes. These are a combination of four rows at a time. And I think the little narrow ones are probably two. So, and that finishes the shawl. So I'm hoping to get this done this week. However, if I turn it out that I've got leftover yarn, I'm just going to keep making it and because I want to use up the yarn. Um, I've got plenty of white left. I have an entire other skein of this, and this is alpaca. It's called La Camina Alpaca, and this is a pattern from Blueprint, which is the old Craftsy, and it was a kit, so you ordered, you could choose your colors. You did not have to do white and gray like I did. You picked a light color from their collection, and you picked a dark color to go with it, um, or accent color. They only give you, you get one color of the dark color, which is, I chose the charcoal gray. So they give you one skein of that, and you get three skeins of this, of the white, or whatever light color you choose. And like I said, I've got an entire skein of this left. So I might be, I don't know how far this is going to go. So we shall see, but I have some other gray yarn that's very, very close in this color, so I'll have to see. If it's close enough, I might keep making this bigger. Although this is a pretty good sized shawl and I have not blocked it yet. And it is garter stitch. So it's got a lot of, you can see it's got a lot of stretch to it. Garter does. So I know that when I block this, this thing is going to get much, much bigger than what it is now. So it's just going to be cozy and it's soft and it's very neutral. It's lightweight, but alpaca is very warm. And alpaca is one of the, the, softest fibers you can get that's within a, a reasonable price range. There are other fibers that are softer than alpaca, but they're also a lot more expensive. So I think this entire kit, I paid 23 for it because it was on sale, um, but there was a sale Blueprint ran not too long ago where I think it was $18. That was your pattern and your yarn, which is very, very reasonable. 
So anyway, that is my Swedish lines shawl. And then lastly, well, no, not lastly, because I do have my diamond art that I'm working on. This is the knitted sweater that I'm working on. And here's where I was last week. And so I've, I've only done maybe an inch and a half. Um, I had it with me at work the other day and I was knitting on it in between customers. So I um, got a few rows done. And yeah, so there it is. And it has beading on the front. And I'll be glad to get this done so I can hopefully wear it before the weather gets cool again. Now I'm also working on diamond art. Um, I'm making a, um, it's a, a vase with some pink roses and like a little cup of tea and yeah, just a pretty still life. Um, a lot of diamond art, if you're not familiar, familiar with diamond art, it is sort of like paint by number, but with little plastic beads and they're flat on one side and they're faceted on the other. And you have a little, it looks like a pen, but you put wax on the end of it and you pick up the little beads and their color, everything's color coded. So you just put them onto the canvas and the canvas is adhesive, it has an adhesive on it, sort of like a fly pest strip. So you just kind of stick it to there and, um, it's a lot of fun and it's not as messy as paint by number unless you drop the beads all over the floor, which I have done in the past. Um, but anyway, I have been working on that one and I didn't bring it upstairs with me because I did not want to have all the beads all over the carpeting. So I'm going to insert a picture of my progress on that for this week. Mostly the progress on it has been a lot of the gray colors. I've been doing some of the vase, some of the vase and the teacup this week has been some of my progress with that. Now it's time to see what you all are making.
Now, as you saw in Show and Tell, Fran Derrick has been participating in the Tour de Fleece. So is Yoka, and I also found out one of our other subscribers, Mo S. Crochet, is also um, participating in the Tour de, Fre Tour de Fleece, which runs during the same time period as the Tour de France, but instead of bicycling, they are spinning fiber. So um, that's what that's all about. And there's there's different entries as far as you can you can um, participate for how much fiber you've spun for trying a different technique uh, for trying a different fiber that you haven't spun before. There's all different categories within it. Uh, so anyway, we do have at least three people that I know uh, that are our viewers that are participating in that. So good luck to all three of you, and we enjoy seeing your progress. And please let us know at the end how much total you have, have made, because it, it will be fun to see how much you guys have really spun. So um, I know it's been a lot, so it'll be interesting to see that. Now I have some something fun that I'm going to be participating in. Uh, about two years ago, I entered some of my knitwear. At that time, I was not crocheting. I entered some of my knitwear in our local county fair, which is the South Mountain Fair. Um, it's part of our Adams County, Pennsylvania uh, fair that's held in August. And so I decided this year I would try to enter again. I'm hoping I can get the entries in in time. Um, there's a lady at our church who, um, she's a home ec teacher, and she tries to encourage any of us that do any crafting to enter just to, in order to keep these categories open and um, just to to keep fiber arts and sewing and things like that um, of interest to people. And so, anyway, I entered two years ago, and I actually won some ribbons for it. Um, I won first place for one. That was a shawl that I designed called Keeping You in Stitches. I won a, a prize for that. And then I got a second prize for, I believe it was the Bendy Arrow Shawl by Charlotte Borey. Um, so I won a second place for that one. So if I can get the entries in in time, um, I intend to enter, and I'm going to insert the pictures, but I'm going to try to get the Barton Cardigan entered, which is a sweater that I made that is almost all cables, all the way around all the way around the sleeves, you know, the whole body, the sleeves, everything is cables. Uh, so I'm going to enter that. I'm also going to enter my basket wave uh, shawl, which I released as a pattern earlier this year. And I'm also going to enter crochet for the first time. I am going to put my granny meets virus or virus meets granny. I always get it backwards. In fact, at one point I was calling it granny gets run over by the virus. Um, I had it all backwards, but anyway, that particular shawl, I'm going to enter that one as well. So I can say I'm, I'm entering in knitting and in crochet. So I'm going to insert those pictures. Now I thought I would update you on what I'm reading. I finished the book on donuts, the cozy mystery about donuts that I was reading. Um, I have There's tons of those books in that series. So I do have another one waiting, but I'm taking a break from donuts because just reading the recipes could make me gain weight. Um, but anyway, I am reading the latest of the Murder, She Wrote series. Here it is. And this is being written... It says by Jessica Fletcher, which we all know is not really a real person. A man named John Land is now writing it. Uh, the original person that used to write it was uh, Donald Bain, and he passed away. So this man has taken over, I think, over the last two or three books. Um, I believe it's the last three. So I just got started this today, and it's called Murder in Red. I'm not quite sure why yet, uh, but apparently there's a a murder that takes place in a local hospital in Cabot Cove. Now, we all know, if you remember the TV series, that you do not want to be her friend because everybody that's Jessica Fletcher's friend ends up dead for the most part. 
And you don't want to live in Cabot Cove because apparently they have a really high murder rate up there because everybody seems to be dying in all of the books. Um, but they're a cute read. They're, they're nice. Um, they're considered a cozy mystery, which means that they're, the person solving the mystery is not a professional. They're not a detective. They're not a police person um, or an inspector, anything like that. They are an amateur detective. And cozy mysteries, for the most part, not always, but for the most part, don't have anything graphic in them as far as language or scenes or anything like that. I have run into it once in a while, but for the most part, you don't generally find it, which is why I like to read them, because they're relatively clean. So that's what I'm reading. Now, we did a giveaway this past week for this skein of yarn, which is Painted Desert. And here's the color. It's reds and purples, and there's some oranges and some pinks in it. Um, it's got some really pretty colors in it. We had 78 entries, which kind of surprised me because normally we have like several hundred, but I guess lots of people are maybe busy with other things during the summertime. So anyway, we had 78 entries. I used random.org for the winner. The winner was number 47, Madonna Ballard. So Madonna, you have two weeks to get back to me with your address, and I will get this out to you in the mail. Um, you can contact me at katrinascreations at yahoo.com with your address. Don't put it down in the comments. We want to try to keep it private, so just send me an email, um, or you can message me over on Facebook, either one, uh, just so we keep your address private, um, and then I will get that out to you in the mail. And if I do not hear from Madonna in two weeks, then I will redraw a winner. So I do save all of your names just in case I need to redraw. I've been really enjoying this week. And, well, just I've, I've seen the YouTube channel change and grow during this time. But I'm also seeing over on Facebook things changing and growing. And it's exciting to me. I'm seeing you guys looking at each other's projects or replying to each other in the comments below, um, looking at, like I said, looking at each other's projects over on Facebook and complimenting each other. And some of you are developing friendships outside of Facebook and YouTube and are connecting with each other. And it is just wonderful. That is what this whole thing is about. I just, I feel like you guys are my friends. It's funny. I'm sitting up in a craft room all by myself talking to a camera, but I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm talking with all of my friends. So um, it's just, it's been, it's exciting and it's fun. And I like to see that you guys are all becoming friends with each other as well. So it's just, it's like a big group hug. So anyway, it is, it is a lot of fun. So I'm really enjoying it. So now we're going to move to the Now, for the come and get it section, Katrina needs the glasses because there's no way I can read or remember what the sales are without them closer to me with my eyeglasses in. So you just have to bear with the glare for a while. I'm trying to work things around so I don't have this glare with my eyes. But so far, everything I try, I, if I get rid of the, I have a light over here because if I face the window, I end up facing the door over here, and then it's a white background, and it's too bright that direction. There's not a real good lighting section where I'm at up in the craft cave. So I am working on it. I've been working on it for almost three years now. I just haven't found a solution. So anyway, let's get started with our come and get it section. Annie's has in their crochet section, they have a crochet afghan called the Sophie's Universe. It was done as a crochet along back in, I think it said in 2015, and they've actually put it into a book format, and they say it's, they claim that it's very well um, put together, it's very easy to read. If you go over and look at this afghan, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it really looks intricate, but they say it's not. I'm not going to try it quite yet. I don't think I'm quite up to some of the, what I'm looking at that. It just looks so... It looks beyond me. But some of you guys are like professional crocheters. You would have no problem with it. 
Anyway, that is over on Annie's. And again, it is called the Crochet Afghan Sophie's Universe. And it's $10.99 for the, the pattern, but it's a, in a book form. They also are having a download in the knitted section for the Autumn Colors Lapgan Knit for $6.99. Now, over in Consumer Crafts, if you saw, like I said, my haul earlier this week, you would have seen that I bought six skeins of yarn to make my daughter dishcloths and the pot holders. And I also bought some black lily sugar and cream to make um, pot holders for my mother. And I also already had bought a while back some navy blue and yellow for me and to use, enough to make some things for my daughter-in-law as well. And I bought a three-tiered cart for my husband because I use one all the time for all my craft stuff. Anyway, they are having a sale right now. I believe it's 20% off. Um, it only runs till Sunday. So you're watching this on Saturday. So it ends on Sunday, July 28th. Now, they do have a coupon code for it. I'm not crazy about the coupon code. I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll explain why I don't like it. But anyway, their coupon code is Xmas719, because it's Christmas in July. The reason I don't like the coupon code is I don't like taking Christ's name out of Christmas, because he is what Christmas is all about. Uh, anyway, but that is their coupon code, is Xmas719. So if you would like 20% off... Um, like I said, Lily Sugar and Cream is the cheapest I have seen anywhere. Like, even Walmart's more expensive. Um, it's normally $1.57 a skein from Consumer Crafts. With the 20% discount, you can get it for $1.26 per skein, which is really, really cheap. Um, if you're interested in that three-tiered cart that I have that you'll see in the video, I think it's normally $29.95. Or $29.99. It's almost $30, but 20% off um, will give you will give you six dollars, almost six dollars off. If I did that right, it should be close to six dollars off. So that is consumer crafts. Over at Create for Less, in their clearance section, there are various types of Red Heart yarn over there. Um, they weren't bad prices for it, but there was some Red Heart yarn over there in the clearance section. Hobium is offering 25% off of their Stars of July, which is their Stars of the Month yarns. Uh, they also have a clearance section, so don't forget to check out the clearance section. Likewise, Ice Yarn, both Hobium and Ice Yarn both come out of Turkey. The yarns are very, very similar. Um, Ice Yarn, though, is having a site-wide sale up to 90% off right now. They also have a closeout yarn section, which is where I bought stuff before. So I always shop the sales or the clearance section or the closeout section. That tends to be my, my shopping place of choice. So if you go to any of these sites, always make sure you check out the clearance section. Uh, so anyway, that is Ice Yarns. I don't believe you need a coupon code. I think they've just marked everything down that is 90, up to 90% off. Knit Crate, you can get 20% off your first box if you put the coupon code KCREATIONS20. Knit Picks uh, is offering 20% off of their yarn of the month, which this month is Chroma. Uh, you can also get 20% off of their interchangeable needles and sets. So if you're a knitter and you like interchangeable needles, they are offering a 20% discount. Leisure Arts is in their um, focus things for the month. In their knitting, they are focusing on scarves and cowls. So if you click on the knitting, you'll see it pop up and you can look at it. Um, in the crochet section, they are focusing on stylish crochet, and it's shawls and scarves. So they're already thinking preparing for winter, um, which is funny because so many of you and I were chatting back and forth this week, talking about getting ready for Christmas and making things as gifts, because we all know that we have to get them started now if we're going to get them finished by Christmas. Um, 
which is why I'm making dishcloths. I would be so sick of dishcloths and hot pad or pot holders by the time I'm finished. I'm never going to want to see another one. All the more reason not to cook. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Lion Brand. Okay, now how many of you went over to Lion Brand this week when I put that sale up and it came through my email? It was like the radar went up. It's like antennas going ding, 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 ding. Yes, I went crazy over there. Well, I wasn't bad. I really wasn't bad. I bought, I only bought five skeins of yarn. But I didn't need any yarn, but it was such a good price. And the sale is still going on. Apparently, there were so many people, because some of you were saying, I can't get on the site. So many people went over to Lion Brand, not just from the, the ad that I put out and told you, but I mean, everybody that had email with Lion Brand went, it was like a flock of yarn vultures swarming down on Lion Brand, scoping out the shawl in a ball. Yes. They have, and it's, like I said, it's still on sale, five skeins of shawl in a ball for $10. It's normally $9.99 per skein. So it's $2 a skein. You can't go wrong. For $10, instead of getting one skein, you're getting five. And you can order more than that. They just have to be in increments of five. You do need to use a coupon code, shawl haul, to get it. Now, I did have someone say that they didn't see where the coupon shows up. When you, you have to go all the way to the checkout. When you look at your cart, you'll see a section partway down on the left-hand side where you can put your discount code or coupon code. Put that in there and click apply. And then in your totals, you'll see your full amount, like my full amount for five skeins of yarn it came up to like $49.99. And it's in big letters, but it, or big numbers. But if you look directly underneath that, it'll say discount, and it says minus thirty nine ninety nine. So you, you have to really look at it, but just look at your final total amount to make sure it's been applied. Um, but anyway, yes, it's still going. I don't know how long that sale is lasting. They must have a ton of that yarn because there were so many people went on there. I've never seen a site crash before. I mean, Lion Brand's a pretty big site, um, but yeah, us fiber people crashed Lion Brand website, and it, it shut it down because it was so overloaded with busyness. So I have a feeling there's lots of people making shawl in the balls coming up. Yeah. Anyway, in their clearance section as well, they have up to 75% off on their yarns over there. So, um, yeah. Lion Brand has, has been very popular this week. And I bought, of the five skeins that I bought, I bought, you can choose different colors. You don't have to pick all five of the same color. You can pick and choose. Each skein, I believe, if I read it right, is 444 yards, which, yes, it will make a shawl, but that's more like a shawl et. It's a smaller shawl. And if you are crocheting, it's going to be even smaller. So I estimated two skeins per shawl. So I bought two of one color, two of another color, and then I bought a single one to make like a scarf type of thing. Um, I don't even remember exactly what I bought. I do know one was Healing Teal because I've had my eye on that one for a while. And I bought one that was like black and gray and white because I tend to wear a lot of those colors. And I forget what the other one was. I think it was Desert something or other. It was kind of like an olive green. It had some olive greens in it. So anyway, I guess I'll be surprised when I open up the box when it gets here. And I'll show you guys when it comes in. So that is Lion Brand. And that is the end of our Come and Get It section for this week. All of the links are down below, down here in the description box. Uh, you'll see a thing that says Show More. If you click that, it'll drop open and... You just click on those links. It'll take you right over to those sites. If you do buy through those links, I do get a small commission out of it, which helps support the channel, So, um, which helps support giveaways. Because uh, shipping can be expensive, and sometimes the yarn can be expensive, too. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that is it for this week. Again, uh, Madonna Ballard, please get in touch with me by email or messenger over on Facebook. And let me know, and I will get this out to you right away. And congratulations. And thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already, please click that little red subscribe button. If you click the little bell next to it, it will let you know anytime I post a video, 
which is always on Saturday and usually on Wednesday. I have no clue what's going to be on Wednesday's video this week. I really haven't thought that far. Um, so there might be a video up on Wednesday, but I'm not really sure at this point because I haven't really figured out what I'm going to talk about. So maybe I'll find something. I'll try to find something. We'll have something on Wednesday. It'll, it'll be a surprise for me, too. So anyway, stay tuned on Wednesday for a surprise. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and I will see you next week.